Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Modded Gungeon. As you can see, I'm He's invisible. And I'm here with Eminem again, yes. He wasn't here for the last episode, but I brought him back. He's back. I tried to get him on whenever I can, but he is from I'm another back part of the world. And so. better than ever. He is. And, uh, oh, yeah, no, that's he's... not true. I'm aging, and <laughs> I'm it's upsetting me. And worse than ever. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, it's and almost, worse uh, than ever. It's almost uh, Never Name's birthday. He's almost twenty. Oh, oh my god! Lord. Don't remind me. I oh god, there's so... hair in my microphone. Jesus. <laughs> I feel so old. I thought you were gonna say, "Oh god, there's hair in my ears." Like you're getting older. <laughs> No, no, my microphone is getting older. It's growing hair in unexpected places. <laughs> uh, I do feel really old. Like, the other day, I was, um, we'll get into the short eventually, by the way, but I was... I, yeah, I remember gonna... how, like, a second before we started recording, I said, uh, verbatim, let's not beat around the bush, and all <laughs> we've done is beat around the bush. The bush yeah. is dead. We've <laughs> killed the bush. But I, I'm, in a, I'm in a Discord with uh, BD1P, Alexa, and um, one, of the, one of the modders for, Gun, uh, for Isaac. Apparently we're doing a collab that this modder has created for us, and none of us know what it is. So I'm excited to find out what that ends, end, ends up being. But we were all talking, and like, I realised that I'm the oldest one there. Like, I genuinely thought Alexa was older than me. It was Because, it, like, BD1P is like 19. Um... And yeah, Alexa was Wait, saying he looks like he looks like he's divorced with a mortgage <laughs> at, at forty. Yeah, but he, he looks he looks good say, for he is, forty. He is so. he, he is uh, surprisingly young. Uh, but anyways, yeah, like Alexa was saying something along the lines of, "Oh, like I can't always record all the time because I've got a big boy things to do, like a job." And I was like, "Hey, so do I." And then I was like, "Wait a minute, am I older than you?" <laughs> Shit, and it's like, my god, I've been watching Alexa for like three, four years, and it's like, I just found out that I'm older than him. That feels weird. Feels strange. Anyways, let's like, stop beating the bush. Yeah, the bush is dead. <laughs> um, it's weird to, uh, to realize that you've been listening to a baby. An itty-bitty baby. I know, it's, it's bizarre. Oh, it's gosh. like, what, you're I you're already couldn't get through 17? the door. Baby, you're 17, baby, baby. You've got a baby over here. <laughs> I'm awesome, curse. Give me some. Thank you. you. I mean, I get wanting like one curse, but why two? I don't know. I, I feel like one, you don't really see, you don't really notice that much, but two, you kind of do. You get a few more cursed enemies and you get more uh, ammo drops. I, I typically just take one curse for the. Uh, I, I normally like to stay at around market. three, but. Um, I, 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 yeah. I usually take one curse for the black market with the full knowledge that I will get more curse throughout the run because yeah, I am a, that, I gotta say, a that's, that's, that's not what I do. I like having three, but I, I always, if I get the option, I only take two if I'm on zero already because I know that I'll end up getting some throughout the run through whatever means. Yeah, yeah, through whatever nonsense. You, is, is another thing you said you were going to do with this challenge is remove the muscle flash, right? Yeah, I want to do that, but it's, it's difficult because it's... Like, I've removed the visual effect, but it's the lighting that's, that's the issue. I tell you one thing that makes this challenge probably significantly easier than you intended. Playing on controller. It doesn't really bother me, I'll be I honest. Can, I can just aim in the general direction of the enemy and aim assist will help me. Well, on PC you can just put the cursor on the true, enemy true, and no matter true. where you are, the bullets will go to the enemy. So it's I, not I, I, really that it's big for, a deal. For some, for some reason, I thought that in this mode, the cursor would be invisible, but that would be evil. Yeah, and plus I don't even know how to do that. By the way, if anyone's watching this and knows how to remove that little flash when the gun goes off, and uh, how to remove the ammo clips dropping on the floor, please let me know, because I want to make him die. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well so far. I haven't even been hit yet. Yeah, it's like... Fifth room on the first floor. Well done. You want a medal? <laughs> I actually do. I feel accomplished. Uh, cleansing, cleansing rounds. rounds. Isn't cleansing rounds the one where my bullet travels through one? Um, no, that's a different oh, one. This is the one cleansing where rounds are basically. Enemies. Yeah, cleansing rounds unjams enemies. It's now a I want markers. I, I don't remember if they keep their money multiplier. I think they I, might. I th I'm, I'm gonna say, I, I, I think sure. we've tested that before. I think they do. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Baby they do. C. Oh my god, this room! What? 
Uh, look at this room. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Remove yeah. myself from this room quickly. Hell yeah. Oh, Metronome might be fucking amazing for this challenge. Are you sure? Yeah, because I could just use the pistol the whole time. Uh. As long as I can get it high enough damage, I probably won't get hit much. Oh, and this is annoying because I really want Glitchy Trigger Finger or Metronome, but I also, there's a red chest. I have to, I have to open it. Just waited to see if you Thunder got a key clap. from the boss. Oh, wait. Yes. <laughs> Thunderclap cheese. Oh, hello. I told you there was a lot of ways to cheese this challenge. Table also, this room is scuffed. Devour. I like it. Yes. I'm liking all of these new NPCs that are just like, obviously just people that have been abandoned in the gungeon and that are just decrepit because you've got one in your mod and there's like two in uh, in Bunny's mod. I mean, yeah, because it's the nature of the gungeon. It, it sucks you in and fucks you up. Sucks you in and fucks you up, oh my god. Much, much like an orgy. Oh, damn it. The gungeon sucks and fucks. Yeah, but even with these things, it's you're still losing where your hitbox exactly is. Yeah, even to with be these fair, crunches. actually, I've just noticed the thunderclap actually emits some light look. I've got a small amount I of light. I hate you. I hate so you so I actually much. know exactly where I am. We need to turn on fucking low graphic settings to make those <laughs> lights go away. Now, nah, cheese, thank you. I already got hit on this fight though, so I've already lost my uh, flawless. Well, how about how how but about you? you, you gotta, I, well, I'm not gonna use this gun the entire run. I'm 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 teasing. I I'm teasing. Oh, it's the penis measurer. It is. Wait, it doesn't. It. This is invisible. Why is this invisible? Yep. The bullets and beams are invisible. Okay, this is gonna be confusing. But yeah, look with this, I just could like have a little. Emitted bit of light. <laughs> Actually, it looks like it looks like the light is around the gun it's, itself. It's definitely so even around that's the gun. Not, yeah. That's even that's not exactly your hitbox. It's box. not accurate. Yeah. That that could actually kind of screw me. Damn it! Literally. Uh, like, why did I get hit? They went completely through the sprite. Oh, there was <laughs> yeah. a secret room in there. Oh, I hate it. Damn, I hate that I, when you I notice like it's, it's the, the second after <sighs> something is it's like, unsavable. Yeah. It's like uh, in Isaac when you like go down to the alt path floors and you go down, you, you like open up the room and go down, and then realize there's a tinted rock right as you're jumping down the trap door. It's like, oh, you know, you know something. I think I may need help. I, you went to this floor and I saw the elevator open. Nobody inside, and I'm like, huh, that's that's a weird bug. <laughs> there should be someone in that elevator. <laughs> it, it took me a second. You just had goldfish brain for a moment there. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> and it's like, oh, it's, not, yeah. it's not even just like you're here alongside this. You literally made this. <laughs> yeah. And you're still confused. I made this, and I'm, you know, of all the things in all the worlds, nothing will, nothing surpasses mankind and its ability to confuse itself. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, oh god, I'm getting old. I'm an old, decrepit man. My bones creak. Your bones creak. Oh my. I actually I actually do have creaky bones, but that's just because oh, I don't do enough horrible. exercise. You have arthritis. Fucking uh, stop, you stupid bitch. That was two ammo. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was. Huh. But yeah, uh, I don't have arthritis, but I do have... Stiff. Look who it I is. do have stiff and sore. Yeah, iron side. Although, virtually impossible for me to afford anything that he has for sale. Well, yeah, that's because you got hit, because you suck. Well, no, but it costs armor. I'm never going to have four armor. <laughs> I mean, you can. Like, converter costs four armor because it's an A tier item. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm not saying the cost is too high. I'm just saying it's rare that you have that much armor. Even two armor is kind of rare. Is I guess. I, it's just that I, I, a lot I just, of the I was, items... I was just about to say, I don't know if this is possible, and it's probably not. It seems too complicated. But is there any way that you could do split cost, where it costs some money and some armor? You could do that. Because that would probably be more approachable most of the time. I just... I don't... Like, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that it costs armor. Actually, I think that's really Actually, thematic and fits I, very well. I, I just think it's I, potentially... Like, let, got let, the... Sorry, Karen. Shut up, Brit! <laughs> 
it! <laughs> Quite sure. My turn to talk! <laughs> um, the reason why Ironside costs so much is a dumb solution to a dumb problem that I really sh I While we were discussing this, I came up with a better solution immediately. <laughs> the problem is that a lot of the stuff that Ironside gives you, because it is armor related, gives you a piece of armor. Yes. So, so basically you have I to artificially his, increase his, the cost. Yeah. I made his costs the item's tier plus one. Yeah. So uh, instead I could oh just, you know, check if it's one of the items that gives armor and Man. add one the thunder armor to the can cost. Fucking thunder clap my ass. That's a terrible weapon. It does no damage. Go die. Just dodge. Can, by the way, if I if I just restart, will the challenge still be enabled? Oh yeah, cook or start challenge should still be on. Good, good. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, I think it's a perfectly fine solution. I understand why you did it. It makes a lot of sense. It's just, I think that the the problem I see is that I wouldn't want the NPC to feel useless in a lot of circumstances, which I feel for most Gungeon players and most Gungeon runs, I mean, for the most part, he will be useless because I don't think you often have I that mean, much armor. Like, that's, that's the rub. Yeah, but at, at, the same, at the same time, like... Like, Goopton charging you upwards of a hundred casings on the first floor for an item is oh, also yeah, pretty yeah. bullshit. I, like, that, that is definitely, but I feel, I feel like, no matter what floor he shows on, it's unlikely for me to ever have three or four armor. I very rarely have that much armor. This feels like a... It's a hard oh, solution, God, this definitely. Is... No, this is a, this is a, this is a by room. definition, this is a skill issue. <laughs> this is a room that I made that is terrible. Just don't get hit and you won't be low on armor. What's the problem? But like, it's not even just that. I, I feel oh God, like this on room average, also looks, this room also looks a, a bit it, sus, it don't you think? It does look a bit sus, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I yeah, think it's, it's got a, it looks, <laughs> it looks, it looks like, like a, it looks like a chonky sus. <laughs> it looks like a very happy Amogus with a chode. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I feel like it's not even just a problem of don't get hit. I feel like on runs, you genuinely sometimes just do not get that much armor. Like, I've had runs before where I basically only got one piece of armor throughout the whole run. Sometimes it just doesn't I see happen. Where I see where you're coming from, and I, I am probably just going to switch it to that other solution I mentioned, where yeah. I just ha I manually type out a list of, like, this item, friggin'... <laughs> Gives you one armor, so if it's one of those items on the list, raise the cost by one, which is something I can do easily, and I don't know why I haven't. I suppose it's just making a list is time consuming. Deal solution would just be to not make them give armor, but that would require a lot of hooks. Yeah, which I mean, anyway. you'd have to like, as soon as you pay for it, instantly hurt you, hurt you, which is just a strange way of doing things. Yeah. Like, it'd feel very strange if, like, you'd be very confused if you bought an item and then immediately blanked. <laughs> yeah, like, armor of... Well, what tier is armor of thorns? Uh, C. Uh, and I feel like I armor... Actually... Of, I feel like armor of I... thorns is more useful for the piece of armor that it gives you than the actual effect of the item. Yeah, I guess, but just using it as an example... Uh, let me let me just open up my code real quick. Something that I can do because I have it. Um, <laughs> da -da 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 stuff, 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 stuff. NPCs. I have. I actively have my uh, all the files in my mod that contain, you know, content labeled yeah. as stuff, so that they go next nice. to each other in the in the alphabetical list. Okay. Let, let's see how Ironside calculates cost. Uh. Okay, so if the item is... Oh wait, I guess... I guess... I'm... I guess Converter must be B tier then. Because... I, I don't know. I, uh... So if the item is D tier, it costs two armor. Are you if the item is... If the item is B or C, it costs three. And if an item is A or S, it costs four. 
and what I do to balance that is just lower those numbers by yeah. one. Can, can I just quickly then... speak about the fact that I just got the um, the 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 lost's wand in a black chest? You want to spawn another black chest? Because that yes. seems a little bullshit. I'm gonna say this weapon is at least from what I've seen very weak, like incredibly weak. Even with spells, it's very weak. I mean. It's so. cool, but being cool doesn't necessarily mean it needs to go in a black chest. Like something, it's spawn chest black. Yeah. It, it something can be cool without necessarily needing to go in a black chest. <laughs> oh, thick boy, <laughs> thick daddy, my favorite. Holy shit! I, like it's so funny because like I imagine walk, walking around with this thing looks hilarious, but we just can't see it. It does. It it looks fucking. It, does it make you slow? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Well, so how much ammo does that thing have? Because it doesn't tell me. <laughs> um, I'm guessing one, <laughs> based on its sheer size. Yeah, also, does it have to be charged up? Yes, it's a charge weapon. Okay. It takes quite a while, but oh, it's God. worth it. Oh, okay, let's let's check exactly uh, how much ammo the Plum Heart has. It's based on this like old cannon that I thought looked really funny. Uh, it has 10 ammo. I don't know when it's charged. Oh, there you go, it's charged. What? It does that much damage? Are you kidding me? It's because of boss DPS cap. But no. Look. No, no, look. Wrong. Turn it, look. Look at what? It's bouncing around and destroying bullets. Oh, I see. Okay, it's actually doing more than just... Okay, I, I genuinely thought it was just trash and did, like, fuck all damage. It is still a little bit trash, I've got to say. I'm, it's, I'm it's exceedingly not amazing, disappointed. It's <laughs> but it, it... Well, it... One, it's a lot... It, it, it's it's the comedic value. But yes, yeah, the bullets is. from but it we, bounce we, we around did, But we and... did just we did just say how just because something's cool doesn't mean it needs to be in a black chest. And then no, this is but, precisely no, 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 what no, no, this no, no, is. No. We, we said cool, we didn't say funny. No, that still applies. Come on now. Like, I'm not no, saying it it's bad, but I really do think that something this mahoosive should break DPS gap. I guess. I just sort of, at the time, I felt like I was doing too many things that broke DPS gap. Yeah, I, I guess. But at the same time, like, that was that was but the yeah, most the, underwhelming experience I've ever had. The, the, <laughs> the Pum Heart fires these massive bullets that bounce around for an obnoxiously long time. I gotta say, I think, I think we have lost a lot. enemy bullets. I think we have lost a lot of the effect because it's invisible. I think if it hadn't been invisible, it might have been a little more intriguing and not quite as not feel quite as underwhelming. Also, another thing, it, it kind of I, I charged up this big shot of this massive gun and it just went it just kind of shot and like made it like the weirdest sound. sounds it should have a custom sound I, I i could have sworn i set that up if it did it was very quiet uh i'm sorry to shit on your dreams but that's just how i felt <laughs> i'm going to beat you to death so I guess I just forgot. That's weird. Usually I remember to set that up, for, especially um, for big guns. What the fuck just happened? You walked into an enemy, genius. Oh, I didn't realize they did contact damage. Okay, that makes more sense. Also, there's a, supposedly a heart in here. does not exist. You walk into an enemy and you take damage. You're like, I what happened? What's I going didn't on? Know they did contact oh my god. Damage. What, what did you think they did? Did you think Bunny made them to sit there and look cute? Well, they, they explode into a bunch of uh, bullets when you uh, shoot them, so I thought that was kind of their only purpose. I want you to know that me and your mother are very disappointed in you. Good. You can try Pump Hard in a normal room. Okay, I charged it up and didn't quite fully charge it. Wasn't it? Slightly annoying. I don't know where the hell I am right now. Oh, I got hit and it uncharged it. Fuck's sake. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, and like, I gotta say, definitely the custom sound isn't working, which is fine. Obviously, that's just an issue that can be fixed. No, um, it, it isn't working because I forgot to set it up. I just checked my code and it, there's just no code for it because apparently I just forgot. I'm restarting. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm too slow. I want a different weapon. I guess.
the idea is sort of that you you'd have put hard on quick swap and swap off it, it to move quickly and then get yeah, to a position I, I gotta say it just it doesn't vibe very well at all with this challenge <laughs> no no definitely movement speed modifiers are going to mess you up so we'll uh we'll do a quick quick old restart here yep we've had a red chest and a black chest in the first floor so far so maybe a rainbow chest this run game and your luck is going to run out um It'll be a rainbow chest, but it'll give you four actives and nothing else that you want. It's back again. Yeah, probably. Hell yeah. We can go the full two inches, baby. <laughs> um. Yeah, so... There's... There's, there's something in my garden. And it has a lovely nose. It has three heads, a wind-up body, and twenty pairs of toes. Oh, I'd call it Cat Martin, but it wouldn't understand. And although it smells a bit like trash, I think it is quite grand. Yes, indeed. Oh, I think it is quite grand. I have no grand. idea what you're singing right now. It sounds like the uh, the crack-addled words of a maniac. I was going to say something and I forgot, so I just sort of trailed off into a <laughs> random song. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the easiest way, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... Oh, speaking of random songs, I have been listening to a lot of uh, Lemon Demon lately. Lemon Demon? I'm one of those. Demon. I don't even yeah. know what that is. Neil Cesariga. I've not heard of familiar with Neil Cesariga? Nope. <laughs> uh, the Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny? Nope. <laughs> Oh my god, it's one of the- The ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny is one of the most iconic pieces of internet history, and you will watch it. I don't know what it is. Never it's even this, heard it's this, of it. It's this really old, really shitty animation from the real early days of the internet, like Newgrounds like, stuff. Like, first ASDF movie sort of age. But it is- It is accompanied by a genuinely very catchy song. And it became really popular and is really nostalgic for a lot of people. And it's just generally cool despite being very crude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's got a certain elegance to it. It's basically the ultimate fan fiction. It's just a, <laughs> it's this guy just wrote a, a song about a bunch of popular characters beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's oh, it's very it's very good. My favorite thing is stunning these guys right before they go to use their big uh, their chain. It's so, look, they just, oh I didn't do it this time. Yeah, he got he got go. punched. <laughs> they just like put their hand in the air and start like hollering. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. They're having a great time. Yeah, they're definitely not concussed and <laughs> in a lot of pain. <laughs> they're just like dancing out of confusion. <laughs> yeah. They're so uh, concussed, they're just like, when I, fuck when it, When I was dance. a young child, you know, my when I was a young child, one of my best friends at the time, uh, he smacked his head on concrete. Nice. Really hard, and immediately got up and did a little dance. <laughs> I, uh, and I haven't forgot about, forgotten about that to this day. When I was uh, when I was younger, not quite as concussion-y of a story, but um, my, my, my friend hit me directly in the eye with a golf club at full swing. Oh, that that's was, happened to uh, me, but with a cricket bat. Yeah, that was Fortunately, it terrible. didn't make contact with the with the soft, soft, fleshy, fleshy of my eyeball. Uh, it, it just sort of hit... It, it was angled perfectly so that it was stopped by the socket. I think mine is kind of similar. Um, like, I just kind of got hit but, on the socket, but I had, like, I just the worst black eye for a while. Oh, yeah, that's probably one of the only times in my life that I've actually had a black eye. Same I just got here, smacked. Yeah. I just got smacked full on in the socket by a cricket Ow. bat. And yeah, I, I know say, it's, it's you, probably similar for me, actually. I don't think I've had. If a you've black been hit eye. by, you know, a thick cricket bat, but it's not fun. It's impossible. Don't get hit, five head. I. I... Unless you get cheese, I don't know if this challenge is possible. By the way, did you get the panic pendant? No, I didn't. That I, could I actually should, be though. useful in this in this challenge because panic pendant turns all enemy bullets friendly for a short time after taking damage, and it'll protect you from taking multiple hits of damage in quick yeah. succession. 
That seems like a good idea, definitely. I, yeah, I'm gonna say, like, based on just that boss fight, and especially, like, Dragon, if you don't have cheese, I don't know if this challenge is possible. It seems, like, really, you really can, tough. You can generally keep an eye on where you are based on well, environmental cues, and, uh, and just, um, sort of where the screen is, if you I, know the way the screen is. I think goes. that one problem I'm having but, at the minute is, uh, one minute, let me, let me just kill this room. I think that one problem I'm having, uh, at the minute is, do you know how when you, there's that, like, like aim look modifier, where it, like, pulls the screen away from your character, like this look? Yeah. So I'm never centered, and it's really throwing me off. Yeah, I, you can work with that, but I don't know how to turn that off. It's, it's in here somewhere, it's, uh, control aim look. There you go, look. Okay, well, we can try with this on then. This feels really weird though, this feels so wrong. I've never played without I mean, controller aim lock off. I mean, doesn't being invisible also feel wrong? No, not as wrong as it should. Not as wrong as it should. Uh, anyway, I've said that, I've said that. This magic missile item, I don't know who made it, but it's ridiculous. It's literally just an RC rocket that regenerates in like four seconds when you're shooting things. Yeah, thanks, I, I know. Is it yours? Yes. It's really broken. It's a bit I, I have good. this bad, I have this bad habit of ma not making items charge slow enough. I mean, it's also I'm just sort of like, person, like I'm the sort of person who likes using actives a lot, and I don't like waiting for them to recharge. Yeah. And I guess that just sort of colors my my active making. The thing is, as well, because it's an explosion, it's got kind of static damage, and it's basically just the same damage as an RC rocket, right? Um, Which seems very strong for what this thing does. Like, even with a slower charge, I think it'd be too good if it does RC rocket damage. I mean... No, that's just not how things work. You can balance stuff with a slower charge. At the minute, I've, be, I've been having heated debates with the Repentance Plus devs about the balance of their mod. Oh god, how heated. Oh, just, I basically went into their Discord and I ended up telling the the guy that owns the server, the guy, one of the main developers of the mod, I'm never suggesting anything again in your Discord, it was pointless. The, the, this discussion went nowhere. Everyone just, basically, because discussion has been discussed so many times by various people, the devs just came in and started memeing on it. And it's like, I didn't know that. I haven't been your server before. So all of the developers of the mod just came in and fucking dunked on me for giving ideas. Why would anyone come into your server and actually suggest anything? It just, no one no one gave a shit. Like, everyone just memed on it. Yeah, that's uh, that seems like a less than kind thing to do. <sighs> Basically, like, I don't want to be mean to the developer because he's made a very, very good mod. I do want to underline this with, I love Repentance Plus. I think it's a fantastic mod. It's just got balance issues. But I feel like there's a problem of the developers getting bogged down in their creation, where they, because they've made it, they're not, I'm not saying they're not willing to change it, but they're not really as accepting of new suggestions. Because basically, I made a big list of suggestions, mainly for the new Tainted Hearts, because they've got a bunch of new hearts in their mod. Um, and they just didn't like any of the suggestions. And I just... I, 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 like, I'm not saying that my ideas are always perfect, but I feel like at least a few of them were, were definitely a lot better than the current implementation. Like, for example, they had this thing called the Enigma Heart, which was literally a heart that could drop that replaces red hearts on a rare occasion that just gives you a full heart container. And that's it. And I was like, that's dumb. Needs to go. Needs to change. And they did change it. They actually reworked it. But guess what it does now? Instead of giving you a heart container, it gives you a free revive. What? How? It's like, and, oh yeah, and, we made a pickup. It gives you uh, one up. Um, yeah, and the way that they're balancing it is, you come back with half a heart, but you keep all your heart containers. Isn't it just Soul of Lazarus? Yes, but as, it a, as a heart. It literally is Soul of Lazarus as a heart. I was like, what the hell is this? That's not balanced. That's that's. Well, so, wait. So it's a heart that. This doesn't matter what gun you hold. This is my one. It doesn't matter what gun you hold. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. Ah, oh, actually, that's not too bad. That's not amazing. 
But yeah, yeah the, the, and, the, the that, Shrine is tier weighted. It can give you guns from any tier, but I'm it's, definitely gonna die in this boss. But then just don't go into it. I can't. I need to go to the shop. Well, at least it's not something that bad. Um, but yeah, oh like oh my god, that recharge is insane. <laughs> you're. I'm just kind of. Like, I, I don't have that problem, I don't feel, at least, where, like, I, I, oh, I, I listen to you, broke. sure. Game's broke. Oh my god, I, I, stop I, touching mimics. I didn't realize it was a mimic. Game's fucks. Uh, how do I reload the floor? I can't remember now. To underscore level. What underscore level? Load underscore level. Are we on the mines right now? Or, uh, We're proper? on the uh, gungeon proper. Apache! That's how, that's how you reload a floor. Did Apache do that? I, I'm pretty sure it's Apache that broke that, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks, Apache. I'm not, I'm not 100%. Oh, fuck. No. Nope. You could have just reloaded the floor, man. <laughs> Curse of Butterfingers is the worst idea I've ever had. I can't believe you implemented that. You're like, people never listen to me when I make suggestions for mod. My suggestions are great, but nobody ever adds them, grr. And then you find a suggestion that you made and you immediately restart. Oh, my God. I, like, I just, I, I didn't fathom how terrible you'd implement it. No, I'm joking. I didn't fathom how mean? terrible it would be. I, although, I really don't like the way you implemented it. I think the way you, I how, still... How could I implemented it, like, exactly? I just, I don't like that you can throw your guns in pits, and you won't change it, and I don't like it. I I think it's dumb. <laughs> For me, Butterfingers at the minute is like an instant reset sort of feeling. I just hate it. It's horrible. <laughs> I, I'm planning to lower the, like, the... It should also, I think uh, it should be an, I think it should be like, right. an, like a, a chance to throw your weapon, not a guarantee. I think even just if it's a 50-50. Yes. I'll note that down. I might I might do that. Because if I'm not gonna change the pits, I'll at also, least do that for you fucking. Something that would be kind of things. nice, which isn't necessary, but it would be nice, is if it actually threw it and did damage. So you could so like if you were aiming at a boss or something or an enemy, when you drop the gun, it no but I mean like it does da not just normal thrown damage, it does damage. But then get thrown gun upgrades, there's a couple of them. <laughs> no. Shut. Uh, but but anyways, um, yeah, so back to the Repentance Plus sort of discussion. So obviously that was one of the big ones. Uh, another one was they've got a black heart in there that is that it's it's got a 20% chance to replace normal black hearts, but it also gives you a 0 0.16 damage up on pickup, and that's it. It's just a black heart that gives you a I damage up. And I don't, I don't, get I don't that. neither do I. 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 It's just a straight benefit. I said, how about? Because it was originally 0 0.1 damage up, and I thought that was already a bit too much, but they buffed it for some reason. But I said, how about just make it only give you half a black heart so there's a trade off? Oh, it was a mimic! Fuck! That. Okay. Uh. That was the most obvious mimic I've ever seen in my what? life. I had like three frames to see. I opened it immediately as it spawned. I never even got the chance. This episode is so it. scuffed. Um, you would think that you would be a little bit more alert just to nope. not open random chests. No, nope, I'll never you know, be alert. There's, there's, that, there's that phrase, you know, well, what's it, like once bitten, twice shy or whatever? Yeah. Um, you're, you're like three times bitten, never shy, which is... Yeah. Uh, but anyways, if I continue my discussion, so... Yeah, so that, that, that black heart was one that I, I don't particularly agree with. But the other one, there's, an, there's a new one called um, the Soiled Heart, which is called like the, the Tainted Blue Baby Unlock. Um, and that one is a heart that is like a rotten heart where it like fills up your UI. Um, and every room you complete while you've still got the heart, you get between zero and two dips. And it can be any dip. So it could be like a golden dip or a holy dip. And I was like, that's ridiculous. That's like I mean, basically that, the, that's like it, basically better than the Dingleberry Trinket as a that, heart. Yeah, 
I was about to say that that is just basically Dingleberry as a heart. I don't see. Um, so I point. said, how about you just make it give you two random dips on pickup and that's it? And they were like, no, 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 that's way too weak. It's like, why does it have to be strong? I don't understand why it has to be strong. It can be weak. The effect like you've got, can you've got to be consider weak. Edmund's unlocks are generally weak. It's, it's one of the things that, like, like I, I, again, I do want to preface like, this by saying the only reason I, I, I feel so strongly about these suggestions is because I like the mod so much. I really want it yeah, to be the best it can be. Yeah, if you didn't care, you wouldn't be um, up in arms about it. Exactly, yeah. But one thing I do really find very odd is Repentance Plus is aiming, and eventually will, add all the missing unlocks to all the characters. And it's meant to add vanilla-esque content that is all Repentance-based, yet... Of the I mods that I love... use, it's the furthest away is... from vanilla balance. Yeah, what mod is ever going to add something like Sticky Nickel or Keeper Starts with a Penny or uh, so Magdalene one of my, one Starts of my arguments, with a Pill? Or, one of my arguments, at least... Or, so, any one of the shit unlocks, basically. Yeah. This, is, um, this is one thing that... Uh, like, There was one user in that Discord that just wholeheartedly disagreed with me on literally everything, which is fair, people can disagree. But one of the arguments that um, that he made, because I said, the, uh, these all just make the game easier. It makes it easier to win. And his argument was, well, base game things make the ga game easier to win. And I was like, well, yeah, that's true, but the game was balanced with those in mind. Um, and my second sort of point was, a lot of these things that have been added in Repentance Plus are straight upgrades of the things that already exist. And then his reply was, well, there's other things in game that are straight upgrades. What about a dime over a penny? A, uh, a dime can replace a penny, but it's a straight upgrade. I was like, but again, the game was balanced with that in mind. And it's just, um, yeah, I, I feel like it's just adding so many things that all make the game a little bit easier. And one of the things that the developer did say is um, the, these hearts are rare and even the most recent update he made them even rarer, which is good. And I will say I played a run with the new patch and I only saw three of the new hearts over the course of the whole run. And it's not like they completely changed the outcome of the run. I still think they're just a bit too strong. And like I said, it's, it's, it's all personal like taste and the... preference. I like the idea of new hearts, but yeah, from, I love them like, too. I love the idea. From what I've seen a lot in your videos, the the new repentance hearts that this mod is adding, they seem they don't seem to actually give new health. They they seem to just be like this pickup gives you a type of health that already exists plus something else when you the, touch it. There is a few that are completely new. There's like there's one of them called the Zealot Heart, which is a little bit overpowered, but it's a very interesting one. Um, it's a heart that if, if you manage to carry it to the next floor, like an eternal heart, it gives you a Lemmageddon Wisp. See, I have no issue with that. That sounds fun. I think that's a really, really good one. The only caveat I'd say is maybe the Lemmageddon Wisp should have less health than a normal one. No, Just honestly, because you can, honestly do, you, can, you can carry I it over multiple think, floors and do it multiple honestly, times. Honestly, I don't think that needs changing. I really, that's one of my favorite ones. Look, Lemmageddon Wisp... Uh are weak. They're weak as shit, and they die see, e way too easily. See, you have this weird problem with Lemmageddon, though, where you think Bethany isn't that ha that isn't that easy because the Lemmageddon was to die all the time. I never have that problem. They never die for me. I I've managed to keep a Lemmageddon was basically an entire run before. I think they're really hard to get, well, like, destroyed. What do you fucking do? This, By the way, I realize this is Gungeon that, and we're talking about you're Isaac, wrong. But... Everyone, well, everyone, on my, channel, everyone on my channel is here for Isaac anyway, so... It's our show and we'll talk about what we want. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. Good news just here as the background noise. Like, oh, meat bun. Hell yeah. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um... But... Yeah, from what I've seen, there's like, oh, this is a soul heart, but you need a, uh, you need a key to pick it so, up. So that one got changed. That one got changed. So in, uh, it, it, used, it used to be um, you need a key to, to open it, but you get an extra half a soul heart, which was decent, but it was a little bit annoying. I, I don't know if you saw that moment recently where I got a Hierophant and both of yeah. them. Both of them yeah, were locked that. ones. That was really inconvenient. But what they've done now is they act as normal soul hearts, but they give you, when you pick it up, they give you like a little ghost familiar for a little bit instead, which is better. I like that more. Okay, but again, that just sort of strikes me as weird. Like, why, why does it need to be a new health type if it's not going to give you a new type of health? Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? I suppose, like, I suppose... 
they're not really maybe, maybe it's just because they're not claiming their new health they're more claiming that they're health variants or varieties like isn't there that that cell heart what does that cell heart do the like cell heart the one that gives you babies oh yeah that is uh that's not from the same mod that's a completely unique oh mod. sorry i don't see uh that's why i asked because i don't know what so mod everything basically is. that that heart uh comes with a, like a trinket and a few items as well Basically, that was made with the sole purpose of the More Mini Isaacs mod getting some more uh, light. Because essentially, there's a mod called More Mini Isaacs that adds Mini Isaacs for every character, including modded ones. But they're only spawnable in the base game but via Giant Cell. So it was a hell of a lot of work and some really, really good spriting and effort for something that you barely ever see. So someone thought, hey, Mini Isaacs aren't that strong. How about we just make a mod that adds hearts in that give you some Mini Isaacs? And I think I'm it's a really good idea. <laughs> don't do the I same know, glitch because you didn't even check. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say um, I think they're a really good idea. They're not too strong. They're reasonably common, but not in a bad way. I guess I'm. I'm just sort of like my my deal with it is if you're going to make something a new type of health, it should actually be a type of health. Mm. Yeah. Like, something that you, you need to keep in your health bar, or that interacts with your health bar in a different I, I way. Do, I do that... like the variants, I have to say. Like, the, gi the, 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 the giant cell ones, I think they're really cool. Um, and there are, there are a few from Repentance Plus that I do quite like. One of the other new ones that I saw is the Miser Heart, which is the Tainted Keeper unlock. Uh, and that one, when you pick it up, it spawns a shop item that you can purchase, which is just ridiculous in my opinion, but I haven't actually found that one in game yet. Also... Beams invisible. What's the point of that? What's the point of that being a heart then? Yeah, uh, that that one in my opinion is one of the ones where it, it's just very. I, I don't want to say out of touch. I'm like I'm not claiming the devs are stupid. I think they're, they're they're very smart people. They've obviously made a very very good mod. I just think that the their idea of balance is at least very different to mine. I'm not saying it's wrong. They might like it making that, the game easier, but it's, that it, could just be a pickup or a trinket or something it doesn't need to be a heart and well so it's, the, it's the, not like... the justification really is that for them for repentance plus because repentance plus is trying to fill in all the missing unlocks and the reason they're adding all these heart varieties is because there is um there is achievements for them but the, the hearts don't exist uh, they've used the same sprites and names um and yeah that, that's essentially the reasoning for them existing Here's one for free. Miser Heart. For each Miser Heart held, items in shops are worth are worth one cent less or something. Yeah, I think that would work really there. well. It's a motivation to keep the heart alive. It is stackable. And it's just interesting. It's not like, oh, pick up, it spawns a thing. Like, just, It'll just, pick just up so, this heart, just spawns so I'm a not being, thing. Just so I'm not being a dick, I want to make sure that is exactly what it does. Because I don't, cause I know like, that one of the hearts the other day, I accidentally misquoted what it did, and I was annoyed how overpowered it was, and then later realized that I'd actually just read it wrong. So let me actually make sure I'm, for sure that that's what it does. So I'm the, not afraid of being a dick, but I realize you might not want to burn bridges. I really just don't care. No, on it, like I've 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 told the developer very clearly. I am very harsh with my criticism, but I'm only doing it for the betterment of the mod. Um, uh, when depleted, spawns one to two random shop goodies, items, or pickups on sale, uh, and rerolls all items and pickups in the current room. Has a 25% chance to replace a golden heart, which obviously golden hearts are already That's... rare, so they are rare. Which, but I, I still don't. I don't think rare hearts justify anything. Okay, that's better than what I thought it was, because at the very least, it's when you lose the heart rather than when you pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that's not a whole lot better, but it is, it's somewhat better. So I'll give them that. Yeah, th that, that one to me is, like, out of the new ones, the clearest one that I think is problematic. And, like I said, it is an... It's it is problematic. An... It's, it's, it's posting some really spicy shit on Twitter. <laughs> we need to stop it. It's an incredibly rare heart, because golden hearts are very rare. You get one maybe, maybe every two or three runs, maybe even less. And then on top of that, um, it's... Uh, You've only got a 25% chance to replace a golden heart. So you're, you're probably only going to see one of these every, like, seven or eight runs at, at best. But even still, I feel, I, I feel like 
just because it's rare doesn't mean it should be OP. Yeah, I'm. I've been, you know, considering proposing some new heart types to Ipecac because uh, Ipecac is my one and only. And I'd be like, I don't really feel the need to suggest stuff for other mods because the Ipecac team knows me. They, I, well, some of them respect me. Some of them intentionally <laughs> disrespect me, and you know that's fair. I, you know, I've seen me. I, I would disrespect me too. But, yeah. you know, I already have that relationship. Why, why, you know, why go looking around Ipecac's mate? I, I, I Ipecac's the only one for me. Ipecac has essentially done a, a little cheeky, and they they added an item in-game that is literally me, and now I'm locked in forever. <laughs> like, whether yeah. I like I, whether I like the mod or not, which I do, but if, if, for, if for some reason I started disliking the mod, I'm just locked into using it forever, because it, it literally has me as an item in-game. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was confused what you meant by locked in forever. I'm like, mate, did they sneak into your house and put you in a chastity cage? What's going no, on? But it's, it's, it's like, it's like now that they've added me to the game, I basically have an obligation to keep using the mod. Not that I'm, not that that's a bad thing, because I love the mod. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I find that kind of funny. That is pretty interesting. Um, mate, will this thing die ever? What's going on? What the fuck is going on? Why won't this champion. thing die? No, it's I mean, I've, I've been shooting at it for ages. It's a champion. I, I realize that, but they don't have, like, quadruple health. They have double. There we go. But lead maidens oh are already God. tanky fuckers, you know? They're crazy. That took forever. Lead maidens have a lot of health by default, so double health is, is a lot. Yeah. And boys, can you hear me loudly I rifling can. through my notes? I can. Yeah, that's how... See, I don't keep digital notes. That's like the one thing I don't do on my computer. I hate keeping digital notes, and I don't know why. Yeah, that's it very weird. It just doesn't mesh with my brain. I can't remember I, the I last time I wrote a... on paper. With... I have to have a pencil, and I have to have a physical notebook I don't, to I, I, down I, I ideas. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I held a pencil. I guess it's just because, like, my notebook doesn't lag <laughs> when I add too much stuff to it. <laughs> that's a good point. That is a good point. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck me. My notebook isn't like, doesn't make me spend 15 minutes centering images and making yeah. sure that they uh, appear in the right column. <sighs> so well, I guess that's probably it. The, the, the one issue I do have with Ipecac, I mean, apart from the lag, the lag's a Oh no, story, here we go. Um, is that they just have so many suggestions that they've accepted that I, I don't know when they'd ever get to them all. Like. From what I've seen, there's still, like, hundreds of suggestions accepted that they haven't got to yet. And it's like, when are they ever going to get to these? <laughs> I'm not saying that they should, like, rush themselves, but it is just kind of crazy, like, how much content they have planned, but it's it's very ambitious, is all I'm saying. Well, they'll, they'll never run out. There's always That's true. To do. It, it means they've always got content to go at, but, yeah, I just think it's virtually impossible that all, that they're, that all the suggestions that have been accepted are actually going to get made. Oh no, no, it's impossible. I do it for fun. I, I, uh, I make epic suggestions because it's fun to make suggestions for a mod without actually having to make them myself. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh wait, this modding thing is really fun when I don't actually have to do it. When you don't have to debug, <laughs> essentially. Yeah, make Pedroff do it. Yeah, easy. That's, a, that's, exactly what I did. that's exactly what I did with one of my mods, uh, mod ideas at least. I was like, hey, what if we added um, item pools to these chests? But I don't want to do it. Can you do it? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have a few alt pickup ideas for Ipecac, and, and like, I've been trying to sort them down and whittle them out because I don't want them to be just like generic stuff. Obviously, yeah. you it's have like, to be it's a like bit I, generic, but... Yeah, I feel like Repentance Plus, it's weird. They've got some really great ideas. Like, okay, I'm, I know we're pausing again, but we, you've seen enough Gungeon for now, so just shut up. Um, <laughs> shut like, up, be I, quiet. I'm going go to go, go through the hearts here and just kind of go through the ones that I really like and dislike. So the first one is probably my least favorite one in the entire mod. It's the Broken Heart. It just gives you one full heart container and a Broken Heart. But it's a pickup, so you can accidentally get a broken heart, which I I, I don't like at all. Um, What's the point of that? That sounds like a a trinket. 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna say like that. That's that. That one's. I understand the idea behind it because it's a tainted Isaac unlock. It's it's meant. It's supposed to be the broken heart. I get that, but I, I still. Uh, the next one is the Dauntless Heart. This one I thought was really overpowered, but I actually think this one's pretty interesting. If your total health, uh, total amount of health, red plus soul, black heart, whatever, is not an even number, killing an enemy has a 20% chance to drop a half heart of health. If you have soul hearts, it'll, um, it'll drop a half soul heart, otherwise a half red heart. These hearts are launched at a very high speed in random directions and disappear quickly, similar to the hypercoagulation item, has a 10% chance to replace a burn or okay. eternal heart. And it's one of those ones that you have to keep in your health bar to have it active. It, I think that's that a very sounds, interesting one. That sounds like that's just, that just sounds like a trinket. <laughs> this is the thing. This is this is one thing that is like the sort of issue with a lot of these hearts. A lot of them are basically just items or trinkets as hearts. Um, with that, with their strength. The next one is the Horde Heart, which is essentially just a, a double um double red heart. So it's a quad red heart. Um, which I think is actually fine, because it has a chance to replace the double hearts. I've never had a problem with them. Um, they're, they're pretty interesting. This next one is one that I feel could be a lot more interesting. So, this is the Deceiver Heart, which, the sprite for it, by the way, is a heart with spikes coming out of it. And it, what it does is, splits into a half red heart and a random pickup on pickup. I hurt you. No, it doesn't hurt you. Like, I was really expecting, based on the sprite Why? and the name, and it being a tainted Why? Judas unlock, it's Why? Just... <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> so, obviously, the next one's the Soiled Heart that I mentioned. Um, that one has a 15% chance to replace Rotten Hearts. Next one's the Curdled Heart, which this one is... Because it's a tainted Eve unlock, I'm guessing you can already guess what it does. Um, but... It's very hard to have it on theme with Tainted Eve without it being overpowered. It literally just gives you a full red heart and gives you one blood clot. But why? But that's like that's, that's obscenely that, powerful, that's, right? That's that's exactly what I meant. Like it's powerful, but my issue is less with that that it's powerful and more just why? It's it's like when you pick up this heart, it gives you a heart and also a clot. It's not actually a unique type of health. Like, it's just... I think I think the curdled heart would be more interesting if it was something along the lines of like it, it, you have to keep the heart. Do you know, or do you know how it like it, how some hearts like overlap another heart, like a rotten heart? It acts like that. It acts like okay, it overlaps a heart, and whatever type of heart it overlaps, you have some. You, you can get a clot of that variety somehow. I'm like not a sure golden how you heart. Do it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, for example, if it's overlapping you, you a soul a... heart, you can get a soul clot. Maybe when that soul heart is depleted, you get a soul clot. You get, like, okay, you get an outline heart, like a golden heart, and since golden hearts always go on the last heart of your health, essentially it would be you get a clot for whatever heart is the last heart of your health, and that would be perfectly fine. Yeah, I think it should only give you the clot once the heart's depleted, though. Uh, I don't know about that. Like, or maybe it's, it's more motivation to keep it alive because that's like my one problem with golden hearts. Like you get golden hearts just to try and lose. Yeah, golden I, su hearts. I suppose that's true. Yeah. So next one, so th this one is one that got a buff that I just don't understand. Next one, I actually really like. It's called a Savage Heart. The Tainted Sansom Unlock. When you pick it up, it gives you a de degrading damage boost that depletes over a span of twenty five seconds. But it b before you couldn't pick it up at full HP. You had to have a heart slot. Now, you can pick it up at full HP, and it grants extra damage if, if you do that. I, that was a buff that it got. I just... What? <laughs> what? Don't understand that. Uh, you know that thing that we have that's really good? How about we make it stronger? That's how yeah, game that, balancing that, that, works, that's right? What, that's what I said. Like, I, I, I feel like the way that we're speaking, it sounds like we're dunking on the devs. I'm really not. I'm just trying to I sort of... I am. He may not be, but I am. I'm just trying to asshole. sort of speak my mind about why Sit I do the way I do and <laughs> go over some of these issues. Another one... I, I'm is, really uh, not that up in arms about it. I'm just trying to... I'm just... I'm just... I'm just... I'm just. Anyways, the, the keep, ne keep the next talking, one, British. This, this one's the Caprazius Heart, which I actually genuinely love, but only because I change how it works in the code. What, what word? Caprazius? Caprazius. Can you send that, please? I'm probably pronouncing it really wrong. It looks like that's what it says. Caprazius. Capricious. Capricious? 
Yes. Capricious. capricious. What the hell does capricious mean? I don't know what capricious <sighs> means either, but... <laughs> Okay. Anyways, this is a heart. Capricious like... means like unpredictable. Yeah. So that's exactly what it does. It's, it's a tainted Eden unlock, and it's literally a, a glitching heart. When you pick it up for the for the official mod, what it does is it can split into assortment of one and three, one to three random hearts on pickup. I think that's pretty overpowered. So what I do is I go into the main dot lua and make it only ever give one heart. So it just you pick it up and it gives you one random heart of any variety, and I think that's really cool. Sounds fun. Um, Baleful heart. This is one that I've I, I've had once, and I'm still not really sure how powerful it is. Uh, this is the tainted lost unlocked. Allows you to summon two purgatory. Um, uh, sorry, sorry. Allows you to summon a purgatory ghost every two seconds while standing near enemies while you have the heart, and it's a UI heart, so it like overlaps other hearts. I see. That one's decent. I have I've had it once, and it's. It's a little bit strong. Maybe they should lower the amount of time or the range that you need to be in enemies, but otherwise that's a decent idea. I kind of like that one. Um, the Harlot Heart uh, hops towards <laughs> any player that needs oh a red health. When picked up, heals for a full red heart and spawns one Leprosy Orbital that deals heavy contact damage. Leprosy Hearts don't sound like a bad idea. Yeah, I, I, I like the Leprosy Hearts. I don't know... It says deals heavy contact damage. I don't know if that's increased from the normal Leprosy Orbital, but if it is, I don't see why. Um, Yeah, another one. This, this, one, this one I quite like. Uh, the Empty Heart, another UI heart. For every Empty Heart the player possesses, they gain one Abyss Locust when entering the new, a new floor. I like that one. That one's very good. Uh, and then there's the Fettered Heart I mentioned. That one is requires a key, uh, gives a Soul Heart, additionally spawns an Orbital Ghost that can shoot and block enemy projectiles. And then there's the Zealot one that I mentioned earlier. So I, th I think there's a lot of good in there. They they they've got some really, really unique and interesting ideas. There's just a few in there that are just a little too powerful for my liking. And it, it's, it's one of those things, I, like, I don't want to harp on it and I don't want to constantly bother the devs trying to make them change it because... At the end of the day, it's their mod. If they don't want to change it, they don't have to. It just... <laughs> it's just like, I like my game being a bit harder. Like, I... My problem is less with the, the difficulty and more with just, like... If it's going to be a heart, it should be something that has to interact with health. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can't there's no that. point in it being a heart if it... If it being a heart does not add to the effect and i get there are some base game hearts like that because like technically like the the blended heart doesn't technically interact with health very much but the blended heart is like a special case i feel yeah one, one thing i see a lot in um in modding and this is kind of there's two different things like, justification for things. One one is, like, it's rare, so it's fine. Which, in my opinion, isn't a great justification, but fair play. Uh, but another one is, well, the base game does it. It's like, yeah, but the base game does a lot of things wrong. <laughs> just because just the base game does it doesn't mean everyone else should. Yeah. Um, the only heart in the base game that I can think of that's like that, where it's not like re with regards to keeping it or it being a part of the health bar by the way did you return to breach because you wanted to change I, the I, uh... I just i just returned to breach so we can check we're at, we're, we're at like an hour now so <laughs> i'm yeah, not gonna start okay. another run um the only base game heart i can think of that is just a heart pickup that is just is the is the scared heart but yeah. The scared heart only exists to fuck with people trying to give themselves sacred heart. <laughs> like, that's all it's there for. I gotta say, you know I mean? uh, yeah, like, it's just there as a kind of meme, which is a lot of Isaac, to be honest. Uh, I just, I just and, wish and I knew Lua well enough to change these things on my own. Like, I've, I've made, and I do make a lot of if, changes to Repentance Plus in the uh, main.lua. If a mod developer was going to do something like uh, and if a mod developer was going to do something like a scared heart it should be like a scared heart where it's technically exactly the same as a vanilla heart it just does something 
different. Yeah, it's like, it's like the Harlot you know heart I mean? that we talked about, where it hops towards the player. I love the idea of that. <laughs> yeah, that that would be amazing as its own thing. Yeah. I don't see why it needs to give a leprosy orbital. It could just be a, a, a bouncing heart pickup that bounces a, towards the player. I'm going to say, be, that that's, it'd this be is... really is, small, but it would be amazing flavor. Yeah, it's one of those things that I feel is just like something that they maybe got bogged down into a little much when designing these hearts, is thinking about how do we make them super unique and interesting. Where it's like, it's like a lot of the unlocks in Isaac, especially like stuff like this, where it's new heart stuff, they don't always have to be crazy unique, crazy powerful, whatever. Like Lazarus now holds a pill. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's stuff like that. Like you just... I feel like it's like it's like the Horde Heart, for example. The Horde Heart is just a double heart that's doubled. That is vanilla esque. It's interesting. It's useful. It's it's rare enough to not be problematic. I think that they're a great example of a basic heart that's interesting. But then it's like you go down to the Deceiver Heart, and it's like splits into a half heart and a random pickup. It's like that feel that feels like I don't know. It's like it's like they tried to force something interesting without actually having a proper idea. I'm not trying to be yeah. mean with this, but like based on the sprite, I really thought it was going to be a heart where it deals damage to oh. you and you gain Hello? something. Hello? Yeah, sorry, my mic okay. was being weird for a second. But yeah, I'm going to say I thought it was going to deal damage to you and you gain something, which in itself is problematic, because having a heart that deals damage to you, obviously if it jumps out of a chest and you accidentally pick it up, you're going to be fucking annoyed if you like lose an eternal heart because of it or something. But yeah, but at the same time, the chest itself could also try and hurt you, so yeah. that doesn't feel too out of out of the way for Isaac. I, I guess like, I, I just I just so, wish it was better I was with Lua. So pissed! I was so pissed. Like when I first unlocked haunted chests, I did all that effort unlocked haunted chests. Yeah, tainted lost unlock. What do they do? Look it up. Literally, just a thorny fucking dildo. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> This why? is precisely why I wanted a mod that gives them an item pool, because otherwise... It, I, don't, I don't even understand why the base game didn't give them one, considering and, fucking all chests have their own, and they're only acquirable in, from an item. In... I think you can get... So there are some error room layouts yes, that have old chests But, as but well. they're, they're but, exceedingly rare. But, basically, my feelings on it are... At the time, I was really pissed because I'd put in a lot of effort and I felt like I'd been stiffed. But over time, I have I, I've, I've settled down and I'm like, I actually kind of like the Haunted Chests, not because they're good. They are still bad, but they are interesting. Yeah, see, they that's, are not, that, that's definitely they are one not thing I've got to agree with you on. They're not satisfying to unlock, but once you've unlocked them, I think they act... They, do it's add it's to the, the same with the error rooms that you can not the error rooms, the corrupted rooms you unlock for doing Tainted Eden. I despised the idea of those. And I've only ever found a handful. I found like three in my entire time playing. They're pretty rare. And I despised the idea of, ooh, I could get rock bottom, but it could just be corrupted and be a shit item instead. I was like, that sounds terrible. Why would anyone want that? But it's flavour. It's it it's bad, but it adds flavour to the game. That's the whole point. It's the same with haunted chests. They're bad, but they add flavour. And <laughs> with haunted chests isn't that that isn't that they're bad it's that they're a bad unlock yes yeah uh, I, I gotta say and i think i think that's kind of the thing with a lot of them like it just like sticky nickel it, yeah it's sticky nickel they're bad they they are by definition worse than a nickel they are bad but they add flavor to the game and it's i'm not saying that there should be more things like that because obviously if you keep adding things like that the game just becomes a frustrating mess but the 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 base game at least base repentance has found a very good balance between annoying the player and giving them what they need you're not always going to be annoyed by something that drops and you might and sometimes mean, be but i think it's not a bad thing yeah that are actual advantages sometimes to letting a polty free in a room. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you pol pol and also it's not just that haunted chests have this small advantage of if they spawn over some rocks or a one gap uh, like floor tile, you can activate them from a distance and get the chest's content even if they're over a gap. Then again, that's just the magnet. Um, <laughs> but it is it is still an advantage of them. Yeah. Uh, 
one of the reasons that sort of fueled my vitriolic hatred of haunted chests at the beginning was that after unlocking them, I was trying to do tainted Jacob greedier mode. And I had this amazing game break going using the D1. And I died to a haunted chest. Oh. And I almost pulled my hair out. You need to just get that a mod that when... makes them clearer. Because I've, I've got a mod that I that adds was... webbing onto them. It's so much better. That was back when you could... Uh... That was back when you could uh, kill Esau. So mm -hmm. I'd killed yeah. Esau because I'm like, okay, I've cleared the floor. There's no threats. I'm going to kill Esau. I may be the loss, but there's nothing that can kill me. So I can just do my game break in peace. Haunted Not chest, me. spiky dildo. Cow on a trash farm. This is another thing that's part of Repentance Plus that I really like. They're a bit strong, but I actually think they're okay being strong. It's a coffin. They can only be encountered in in a number of secret room um in, in a number of secret room layouts, and essentially it's a chest in which you have to bomb twice. So effectively, only appearing in secret rooms, they cost three bombs to open if you include the wall itself. Um, and it's a forty five percent chance to get nine burn orbitals and three friendly burnies, a thirty five percent chance for three burn hearts, a twenty five percent chance for two burn related items such as dry baby, dog tooth, compound fracture. I think that's so cool. They're a bit strong. But I think they're really cool. They're a very interesting idea. They add a lot of flavor to the game, especially with them only appearing secret rooms. I think it's a, just a brilliant idea, despite the fact that they're a bit strong. And I would suggest some more, like, stuff to, to Ipecac. Uh, in that vein, like, Dead Man's Chest. Uh, stuff like... Because if I go through my notes... Yes, if I go through my notes... Uh, <laughs> Golden, go, golden chest, dead man's chest. Golden chest. Uh, they already exist. Uh, a more golden chest. <laughs> uh, meaty slot. Oh, that sounds horrible. Uh, Why would you do that? That's not, no. You've, you've, uh, yeah. Horrible that is, to some. That one is... man's one man's trash is another man's meaty slot. And you know me, I like other men's meaty slots. Mm. Uh, void heart, poop heart. So the, just a bunch of things. Yeah, I gotta say, there's definitely a lot of interesting things to do, and yeah, I, like I said, I just, I just wish that I knew Lua better so that I could change these things more tailored to my liking. Because I'm like, I just, I want, I want to keep that they, they have a command to turn them all off, and I, I, I've been contemplating actually using it just because I think that the, 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 the hearts at the minute are trending towards making runs quite a bit easier. So I'm like, I, I kind of want to disable config, them, but at the same time, I think options in a mod. In mods, can't Some you like con configurably change stuff? Not this one. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't you just harass them to add configurable options to be like, hey, uh, how about giving me the option to specifically turn off different hearts? I was gonna ask that, but I just feel like it's kind of a dick move because it's like, I feel like I'm the only person that wants to do that, and I don't want them to have to spend work doing. No, be just like, for me. be like, uh, famous asshole, never dot named Navar in the mid. Says that yes, you should. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, we've been rambling for a bit. We should probably end oh, this. Oh, we up. have. Yeah, I was supposed to be done uh, like an hour, but it's, we've gone we've gone over a bit, and we haven't even played Gungeon for like twenty minutes at this point. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is essentially just a podcast. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's people what this have is. said this people is a podcast. people have said that they really like the longer episodes, though. So I'm I'm fine with it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, also, by the way, if you like me and Never Named ram Rambling, please go and check out the Half Life series. We don't just talk about Half Life, and not enough people watch that series. It's good. Uh, ramble a lot. I, Turtle just doesn't advertise that I'm there enough in the thumbnails. That's that's why people aren't watching. That's them probably true. People, yeah, people really come here for me. You know. Maybe you should make the thumbnail where the Half Life guy has got kind of you just peering over my shoulder. <laughs> oh my god! I'll I, I have to. I should draw uh, fucking my little dumb little character as, as like Alex Vance or something. Yeah, Alex or like Freeman or something. Like Freeman just staring at me from the distance or something weird. <laughs> That'd be so. But funny. you're Freeman. No, not Freeman. <laughs> Who am I talking about? G Man. G Man. G -Man. I, I, Freeman, Freeman and G-Man. It's, it's, it's kind of flows. But I gotta say, yeah, I know this is right near the end of the episode, so I don't even know how many people are still actually listening to our ramblings yeah. at this point. But ah, please check, check out that series. We, I, I, I'm not going to say we put a lot of effort into it, because we really don't. We just play hard. No, we just sit down but, and play games, but it's a, it's a great old time. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye.